Hi there, Internet. I'm Polar the Polar Bear, and this is my girlfriend, Melissa. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Fast Foof. I don't think we filmed one of these for a while. No, and it's a different background today. It's a different background. We're trying. We, we've been playing video games in here all day, so we're trying to not have to transfer the laptop into another location. So hopefully the quality of these videos does not suffer. It should be fine. Yeah, I'm sure uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> one of these days I still want to get like an actual digital camcorder to film these on. That would be lovely. That, yeah, get like a little tripod. Yes. So today we are trying, it's Jack's Blazin' Chicken Sandwich from Jack in the Box. And that is the box. All white meat and it love says... Love it tender. Love it tender, yeah. So you open it and it's wrapped the sandwich in is wrapped. Paper, I'm going to show the camera. Kind of. It looks good. It's a good size. Um, we should note that this sandwich is originally five dollars and nine yes, cents. We had a dollar off coupon, but it's a five dollar sandwich. <laughs> it's basically. starting. It is starting at a four for costing five dollars for a fast food sandwich. There's a little sauce on the bottom. There's a little sauce on the bottom. So the <laughs> thing that the thing that drew. Uh, well, it drew. I saw it and I thought of him immediately because it has a ghost pepper ranch salsa on it. So, or not salsa, sauce. Sauce, yeah, yes. just ghost pepper ranch sauce. So it's basically chicken, Sounds cheese, good. bacon, ghost pepper ranch, and then jalapenos. And they look like they're just plain old jalapenos. Yeah, they look like just pieces of jalapenos like you'd find in nachos or whatever. Yeah. So. Um, a quick story before we do this. <laughs> we were gonna. We were gonna do this. I, I was I, I was like, oh, we're gonna do a couple of theme episodes that are gonna be spicy things. We were gonna do this and Wendy's like new ghost pepper fries and their like jalapeno chicken sandwich. All four of the Wendy's that were in her town, apparently there were four Wendy's here, have closed within the last two months. Which four Wendy's in one town? Which closed within so, the last four months. They so all we, closed this year. The nearest Wendy's is a hundred miles away, and we were not willing to drive a hundred miles on a Wednesday afternoon to get a sandwich. Yeah. So, so, so Wendy's does not get a review. Nope, <laughs> not today. <laughs> um, so let's Probably see. Probably not before those ghost pepper items leave. Yeah, yeah, because I, I doubt anybody's gonna be out. Out near Portland is the closest Wendy's now, apparently. So good for that. Yeah. Um, but uh, before before we get off on a Wendy's related tangent, <laughs> um, you wanna you wanna take the first bite? You want me to take? You can take the first okay. bite. So I'm just gonna kind of probably unwrap it. Unravel the sandwich here. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too drippy. So. Might be. Yeah, I don't want to drip on the bed here. I'll we'll clean it if we do. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to hold that under? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Might be in the first, like, two bites. That's fine. Oh, it's got grilled onions on it, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. The bacon looks more crispy than it does on their cheap burgers. Sounds dry. Kind of dry. Bone dry. That's gross. All right. One more, uh, one more bite for... I'm going to get that jalapeno there. If I find a sauce reservoir anywhere, I will... And the burger back to you. Hmm. You want to show them the inside? After a couple of bites have been taken out of it, that's what it looks like. All right. It's. I mean, it's good. Um, it's not bad, like, it doesn't taste un unpleasant. Um, the, uh, the jalapenos are actually a great addition to the chicken sandwich, in my opinion. Um, and that, that ranch doesn't actually have much of a flavor to it. It's mostly just liquid heat. And it's not that intense of a heat, honestly, for an item that supposedly has ghost pepper in it. Uh -uh. Um, which, yeah, ghost pepper is really, really hot, I, I feel like. It has a kick, but it's not... Yeah, like, I can take it, and I have a low tolerance compared to you. Yeah, like you're, it's not even a big deal, is it? I don't know. I don't even feel need to drink something. Yeah, me neither. So that's, I mean, it, it doesn't doesn't really get much points for heat. Um, it's tasty, but it's ta yeah, I I don't, but I'd only give that like it. It was starting off at a four because right. it it does it is not. There's no way a fast food burger is worth five bucks. No, and it's not anything special. I mean, 
Right. Like, it really is. If they just brought down to four, I would see four being a reasonable Right. Price. Yeah. Five, four dollars. You know, takes it. It just seems really high. It's uh, yeah for a chicken for sandwich, not not worth it. Um, yeah. Like, I think you you can get, like, a Five Guys burger for that, can't you? I think so. And a Five Guys burger is so much better than so that. So much better, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to give that a six for taste. Um, gets point off for price, but it's a fairly good-sized burger, and it does taste, well, chicken sandwich. It does taste good, uh, but it's not that hot. So if, if you are, yeah. if you're someone who's just starting out in heat, that's probably actually a good thing to order if you want, like, a nice... Yeah. Um... But I I would recommend it if you've got the money, but try and find... The coupon is online right now. I, I don't know if it'll still be when I post this, because <laughs> I don't know yeah. when I'm going to post this episode, but, but yeah. pro- sometime after the 100 sub special, I will post this episode. What do you what do you think? I don't like it that much. Um, Not a fan. It's, it's, it's expensive. Um, the chicken's good, the bacon's good, the cheese is good, but the ranch sauce, you might as well not have, have it like advertise anything special i mean the whole like billboard advertisement is like with ghost pepper now with ghost pepper ranch sauce or yeah something. and like, it's it literally there's smoke coming out of the burger um yeah it's not spicy it's not even very ranch tasting it's just kind of a very bland sauce um the jalapenos and the grilled onions are good but not it's amazing. nothing special and mm. i think you know I don't know. It's just nothing special. I personally would never pay that price for it and get it again. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. That's true. I wouldn't get it again either. So. So <laughs> I'm gonna go with just a five. I think. That's um, fair. That's good. I'm gonna go with the five. It's pretty average, and um, I guess if we started it at a four. I'm giving it a point for the chicken, bacon, and cheese combined together, which you can get on literally any sandwich ever. So, yeah, you could probably just go to McDonald's and be like, uh, can I have a chicken sandwich and can you put uh, bacon, bacon and jal- jalapenos on that? And yeah. I think they'll do it. I think and they actually McDonald's have McDonald's even does rolled onions. So. Yeah. Well. Anyways, yeah. So I really don't recommend it, but I don't discourage it. I think it's just one of those things where it's unimpressive and it's expensive. So if you get it, I don't think you'll regret getting it necessarily, but it's not, in my opinion, worth it. Okay, so no recommendation. Not really. Me. But not, like, not actively discouraging either. Just not a recommendation. Fair enough. So six six out of ten for me, five out of ten, both both for taste. But I, I like the taste a little bit more. But it's definitely, it's not worth the price. No. But I would recommend for a try just one of them. Maybe, like, get one of them and split between two or three people just to try the thing. Yeah. But, but yeah, not... not not awesome. So well, I mean, I don't think we're disappointed that we got it, and ate it. It's no, just, I'm know. not disappointed. Like it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of that burger. But... Yeah, it's just not, you know, like a, oh my god, this is amazing. Right. Yeah. But, and sorry, there won't be any any Wendy's items uh, anytime soon. But you know, blame blame the dude who closed all four Wendy's in town simultaneously for that. I guess. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> just I guess the state's not very keen on Wendy's. I'll ask you about that later. I don't <laughs> worry. Well, I, I, I don't want to go into, uh, we're trying to, we're, we're filming today, we're trying to keep it under like an hour of filming, so we don't want to go off on too many tangents today. I'll save those for our video game reviews and my vlogs. Um, well, thank you guys for uh, for watching another fast foof. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope to see you all again very, very soon. Bye!